That's why I say, hey man, nice clock. What a good clock, man. That's why I say, hey man, nice clock. Ida. I'm Ryder. Devil without a cause, Ryder Zero. Heavy metal VTuber, how you doing? We're doing clock tower today. And and possibly tomorrow. <laughs> Who do we got? Man, everybody's here right now. What the fuck? May? Hey May. Unicode, Sky, Doom, Ming Q, Kaiju, Soul Dio, Mario Man, Acumen, Xerox. Jeez. Everyone's here today. Everyone's here today. I think I'm getting hold on. Hold on. I need to make an adjustment. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, I'm awful. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Speaking of which, <clears throat> fuck. I wanted to let everybody know that uh, I fucking appreciate the shit out of all you guys for fucking being here all the time. Even when you're not here all the time. Everyone smash that like button. Yo, yo. <laughs> so, I was thinking, I don't think I show you guys enough appreciation for putting up with my bullshit all the time. And I just want to let you know that I fucking love you guys. Everybody. Fucking great, excelente. Can I not skip this? Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh man. Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Oh jeez. Oh man. Oh, let's switch to whoop. Oh, sweet. Perfect timing. Here is fascinating. Oh, it's just my controller. God damn it! Hey, there you go. Okay, good. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a professional? All right, so the way... So, Clock Tower, these games, super short. Uh, so, what? how I'm going to do it is today I'm going to do my best to get through it. And if I can get through it in one sitting, excellent. If not, I'll do it Wednesday. Uh, if I do get through it in one sitting, then I don't know. Fucking, I'll probably play something else on Wednesday. Don't worry, you always give us good content. You are a great guy. I forgot the right word, bro. <laughs> delay? What's delay? What's what's delayed? Is it bad? Is it bad? All right. Uh, oh, you. Oh, no. No biggie. It's cool. Freaking brain is delayed. <clears throat> okay, so this, this game, I explained this at my uh, Clock Tower sh uh, first fear stream on Saturday. But uh, this is Clock Tower 1 in North America. But it's actually Clock Tower 2 in Japan. Delay these nuts, absolutely. 
This game actually takes place like right after or like ye or a couple years or something. What are you doing, Professor? After the first game? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. Like uh, she's the, not ready to remember the murders yet. The the lady the lady on the chair is actually uh, the character we played in the first game. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. We got excellent voice acting. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. <laughs> yes, Professor. Yes, Professor. It's okay. Oh, I guess I'm him right now. Uh, from what I hear, this game is weird. <laughs> uh, and, like, there's multiple playable characters, but only two main characters, and you only play as one of the two main characters, depending on decisions you make before you play as them, I guess. Like, it's not a select the character you want to play like it is in, like, Resident Evil or something. A giant pair of scissors on the desk. They are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer. In the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Interesting. Okay. There's a faint smell of ammonia. Okay, probably should do something about that. File cabinet. Patients. Oh, well, that was quick. There's a memo stuck between the pages. You found hint number one. Oh. Okay. Can I look at it? Can can, can I look at it? Do I, can, can I look at it? <laughs> we even need scissors that big? Uh, I do. For clout. The clock tower murders, the mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson. Her name is Jennifer in this game? Wasn't it not Jennifer? In the, I can't remember. Even though it was only Saturday. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. All right. Uh, just a light switch. Okay, that's good to know. Man. <laughs> Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research, okay? The staff is still here. Guess we got a little bit of self-narration, I guess. The statue, it is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the Clock Tower murders. That's probably the uh, demon statue. Would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this <laughs> that I feel like that's going to be an issue the entire game Beth Professor Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry hmm okay that's it <laughs> just hmm issues in old games no way right Harris desk Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris is gone somewhere. I assume this isn't him, or else he wouldn't be talking to him like that. Okay, it's Danny. A newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment or an interview? That's it? Okay. That's it, I guess. Boo doo 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 boo. Oh, what's that? Stuffed animal. Looks like a prize won at a fair. I wonder how this 
affects the clock tower murders. Scissor Man's rubber mask, a kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask for your fucking politics, all right, man? There's still something I need to do in here. Is there? I talk to like everybody. All right. Uh... Uh... Kind of miss these type of games. They're definitely something else. What else do I need to do in here? Ellen's desk. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. What else do I got to do? Uh, this was top tier back in the nineties. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of was. What else do I have to do? <laughs> look like there's anything else to do okay so I am just locked in this room all right so that that's good at least why what is it with these games in the first screen just like it definitely sets the tone for the rest of the game in the classic figure it out mechanic yeah You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. <laughs> Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Wow. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. Damn, that's... That's harsh. Is that what I needed to do? OMG, they're roommates. Can I go now? No? Wow, okay, okay, okay. How about, how about talking to this guy again? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Probably. I guess they want to sensationalize this. Scissor man who really doesn't even exist. <laughs> Scissor man, it'd be cool if you were real. Huh? Or, um, just a joke. Can I talk again? Oh, you shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Hey, I get to leave. Sweet. Do they really not have enough space for one word each line? <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Wow, I then. <laughs> uh, no, you don't want to go that way? Okay, how about this way? Okay, he'll go this way. He'll go this way. Oh, Professor. Oh, it's Harris. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. The suspense was killing me. Thank you. Uh, 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 ooh. Uh, hmm? Ah, there you go. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, the first floor. Dang, now we're, we're processing hints and shit. Check that out. 
Looks like I'm not as dumb as I look. <laughs> I really just got to do everything, huh? <laughs> oh, Professor, it's Nolan. I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Oh, I... Really? Okay. Then I'll get right to the point. <laughs> Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? Hey, Rosa! I can't say anything for sure yet because the victim's testimony lacks... credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? <clears throat> yes. But what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. How's my day? It's good. How was your day, Rosa? Hey, Raven. How's it going, my guy? Thanks for dropping in. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you were going to say. That monster she was talking about, the Scissor Man, and whether he really exists or not. Honestly, I think the Scissor Man would be the least of my concern uh, after playing through the last game. I think the giant blobby baby would be the thing that I would be uh, worried about. Because <laughs> the existence of the Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. I did do that. Oh, my day is very good since Sky wore a maid dress on a stream. <laughs> Aww. <clears throat> well, Sky was very cute. I seen it. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. So then there you go, case closed, right? But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. Right. But what about what she said? What did she say? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. <laughs> There's something I must be attending to. Ah, well, okay. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. Now get fucked. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower... murders. He is supposed to be a young boy about ten years old. Wait, I think that... I think that's Scissor Man. I'm pretty sure Scissor Man was like... Actually, a young boy. I'll make you wear a maid dress IRL, Rosa. Which floor was I on originally? Because now I, I guess I'm just going back. There's no reason to go to the third floor. All right, well, then why is the fucking number there? For, for atmosphere? What's happening in the game? Your guess is as good as mine, Rosa. <laughs> Like, we're par we're playing some side character right now. So do I go back? It looks like three men in the mafia want to sell candy. Yeah, pretty much. What's up, my guy? Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Check something real quick here. Why did you post an emoji of scissors? 
because the skizzer man. The skizzer guy. There's still something okay. I thought Oh my god. Please. Please. Talk to you again? Is there something I can do for you? Is there something I can do for you? Ugh. Okay, this is actually infuriating. All right. This? Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrow's mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Ask Harris? Yes, no? Ah. Yeah. All right. I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. <clears throat> Harris, would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? <laughs> yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good. Thank you. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. Why do I? I prefer cats. Cats are my my dudes. But I mean, I I love any animal that that loves me. This dialogue is top tier. Yeah, this game's a lot more wordy than the last game too. This is hilarious. It's hilarious that we can just sit here. That we can just sit here. Just standing in front of them. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a child or a woman. Uh. 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 I think it's supposed to be a child. Hold on a minute here. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Oh, shit. Fuck balls. Bring up this again. Oh, uh, poopy scoopers. Looks like a British bordering school kid. Yeah, I could see that. All right, let's. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I am an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all of his memory. From the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that, that kid is actually the scissor man from the first game. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now I want you to honestly tell me everything. You remember about what happened? Er, yes, the Scissor Man. Almost a grandma. Well then, let's get started. Okay. Riveting. They, ooh, they're having me save. Ooh. Checking memory card. So, there we go, okay. All right, cool. The scissor boy. Time for the boy to become a man. Pulls out scissors. I'm her now? Yeah, I'm her now. Okay. The dialogue reveal is certainly suspenseful. It is. It makes me feel like freaking, um, 
uh, William Shatner. Yes, I lost all this morning's data. Oh, fired. I hope I can get it fixed sometime today. Otherwise, I won't get my dissertation done on time. Okay. Don't worry. When Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure. See you later. I heard of boys becoming girls with scissors, but not boy to man. Oh, Sky. Oh, Sky. Tremont, time to run, this time with no walks. Oh, go for it, Acumen. 21 minutes? Holy shit. Where should I go? Oh, uh, fuck. Wow, we got like... God damn. We got like a whole fucking... Shit. All right, um... This guy says the most cursed stuff. Metropolitan Library. Many university personnel use it. This game is spoiling us with choice. You say spoiling, I say torturing. But so far, <laughs> so far, it is quite, it is quite the experience. Hello, Helen. Mr. Sullivan, what are you doing here today? Oh, nothing really. Just thought I would drop by. Riveting. Oh, I see. I wanted to show you my collection. I've just added a new piece. Ah, yes. Well, maybe next time. Really? That's it. That's it. That's all. That's it. Okay. I keep hearing a faint beeping. I can't tell if that's like in my headphones or not. Police station. I love pre-rendered shit from this era. You can't hear any beeping? Okay. Now I'm... Okay, it's, it's definitely... It's definitely... IRL, and I don't know what it is. <clears throat> Rider going crazy confirmed. Uh, Rosa, I'm a VTuber. I've been crazy. Assistant Inspector Gotts, the person in charge of the clock tower case, is here. Scissor man ringing your doorbell, IRL. Well, hey, Teach, got some new info? No. Have you got any leads? Nope, nothing. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the... case. Yes, that sounds like Professor Barton. Alright, this is, um... What about that little cutie? Jennifer? She's still having nightmares. Occasionally. I ain't surprised. She was almost slashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learn something. Okay, bye. Edward Scissorboy. So this is kind of, uh... The fuck is that? Hold on a second. <laughs>
Alright, so I found out what it was. And I have a, an idea as to why it is what it is. What I do? Oh, yeah. So, apparently, uh, our neighbor uh, got his car burglarized. So now, uh, my landlord, who's also my roommate's dad, is here, like, buffing up the security system. And all it is is, like, this little... It's like this little little square alarm thing that's just kind of going off. It's not attached to anything yet, so I don't know why it's going off. <laughs> Oof. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully it doesn't do that by the time I'm ready to fucking go to bed, because that would be annoying. Honestly, the only reason I can hear it is because there's literally no audio coming from the game. Hopefully not a fire alarm. No, not quite. They're here. Oh, finally, some fucking audio. Oh, Helen. Oh, Helen, what can I do? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can't give up hope. Sometimes something will jog one's memory. Yes. Will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it was a good, uh, thought it a good idea. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. <sighs> this is um This is fucking boring. <laughs> I've got to get back to university. Well, I should get home and work on my dissertation. Why does Ryder need a fire alarm since he's already smoking hot? Okay, I'm going to leave the room now. Don't leave the room! I like the compliments, even if they're corny. Corny compliments are still great. Oh, Miss Maxwell. I replaced your hard drive. <laughs> Huh? Thanks, that's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. What are you going to do? We will all be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay. Showing friendly affection is weird, man. Is it? It'll be funny if some Edward Scissorhands pun reference. That, that would be cool. That's why I bully Sky. Yeah, I heard. I heard you guys uh, were were uh, were quite close, and I got super jealous. Rosa hates affection, so I bully her with love. Hey, I could do that. Yes. There are some cosmetics on the shelf brought in by the staff, by the Avon lady. I don't know which is who's. Who else knows about the Avon lady? Is that just a me growing up kind of thing? Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. I don't think that was translated very well. Bunk beds for napping. No one is using them now, but when academic society meetings are near, it's quite a scramble to find an empty bed. Avon lady? Never heard of her. Yeah. A comic book brought in by one of the staff. An aunt of mine sold Avon? A hey, based. I'm not the only guy here. You know, an old air conditioner that doesn't work very well. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Bunk beds for napping. <clears throat> the women's lounge can be locked from the inside. Okay, but, all right. Okay, all right. May, really? I see air conditioning as a rich people thing since it's super rare to have it in my... Really? I've got it. 
Well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the university as a motel. Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes. British? Really? Okay, so that's still not... Oh, come on. Oh, I, can, I think it's about time for a nap. Okay, excellent. I think less than 1% of the country has it. No shit, really? Wasn't paying attention, but I think she mentioned the air conditioner. No? Okay. It's usually cold over there, really? I think it's about time for a nap. Uh, okay, what'd she say? Would you turn off the light, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, light, 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 light. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, why did you lay down without turning the light off? Although I guess it's possible she did, and then I walked in and turned the light on. Houses are made to keep the heat in. That's why heat waves suck in Europe. That makes sense. I'll take a quick... Cack nap. Cack -ca 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 nap. And then work on my report. God, it's so riveting. Oh, I have to answer it. Now who is it? I prefer sleeping bottom bunk. I think there are pros and cons to each. Do I do thing? Okay. <laughs> snip, snip, the dog. Yeah, isn't he tiny? Beam him over the head with this. That's not what I would have done. I would have fucking knocked his shit out. Back from the Shadow Realm. How did you get out of the perfectly planned trap? All right, so that's the scissor kid. Professor Fierro's lab. He is a blah, blah, blah. There's no way to get in the lab. <laughs> that was really quick, my guy. All right. Go to the bathroom. Maybe Scissor Man wants to give us a haircut. Yeah. He's just under he's just misunderstood. <clears throat> Maybe we can hide in here. Everything seems normal. Something told me Scissor Man was in there. You literally okay. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a drink. Please do. Somehow our hands are covered in blood. Huh? What? What? My hands are? Everything seems normal. <laughs> Bitch, please. I wonder if it's going to be like the first one where we really don't see him that often. Because, like, we saw him, like, what, twice? During the whole game? My first instinct would be to get the fuck out of here. So I'm going to the first floor. Oh damn, is this gonna be some split personality thing? You know, maybe it would, maybe. You just basically walked by him and looked at you like, hey, you weren't supposed to move. Um. Now 
Cosmos security will surely come. If I can somehow stay alive until then. Okay. Grab a chair, use it as a weapon. The chair's been knocked over. I wonder what happened. Really? That's what you're... Okay. A sofa the security guards often use for naps. She's got a steel chair. Exactly. There's a key laying on the table. What's this? A key? You now have storage key. All right, good. At least we got a key. At least that's like fucking progress, right? Something sounds like water dripping. Oh, no. Oh no, Spoop. Oh no, Spoopy. <gasps> RKO. Well, I guess that's security. Doesn't look like we have a panic meter anymore. No need to sit down now. I think now is a good time to sit down. The phone is dead. If there's one thing Scissor Man can do, it's cut the line. How could she not have smelled that before hearing dripping water? I mean, he's probably fresh, right? Like, it probably just happened. So there's probably not the smell of, like, dead people yet. The door is tightly shut. Well then, there's no way out. A automatically going up the stairs. In fact, my mom stolen my drink, so I stole it hers. How could anyone be scared of a short man that slow? Just run. He clearly won't catch up. Or just sock him. Yeah, I agree. Oh, all I did was just go upstairs. Fuck. All right. Well, uh, maybe storage room. Maybe I can find the storage room that's on the third floor, maybe. <gasps> Whoa! Maybe toast off on a mini fridge isn't bad after all. Uh, let's go downstairs. Man looks like a middle aged balding guy. Let's do the old cliche of hiding from here. No, you gotta stand on the fucking. You gotta stand on the turlet. He knows we're in here. Am I dead? <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Really, Helen? Really, Helen? <laughs> Every time I hear the name Scissor Man, I keep thinking of Cut Man from Mega Man. Wow. Okay. Well. <laughs> she just faints. She just fainted. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's that's cool. It just starts us right here. I think that's, uh... It's uh, pretty forgiving. Can't go in there. What the fuck? Now he's over there? Alright, well, go over here. Run, dude. The sounds creep you out. I love how she's so casual about this, too. Dude, 
Third floor? <laughs> Casually walk away and wait for the elevator, right? Well, at least he's like more of a presence in this one. Can you wait a second? I need to go to the... Scissor man. Skizzer dude. Alright. Like, what's the goal here? Really? Bruh. There's no way. There is no way. Look at the computers. <laughs> like, how on earth? This is comical. What is he, Jason? Now you just teleport. I mean, I would you would have to, right? It has to be more than one dude at that point. What do I fucking do? Throwing open, excellent. Okay. This game makes me paranoid. I mean, that is its job. Okay, this is the room. Maybe the, uh, the exit, fire escape? Ah! <laughs> All right, I seem to have made a wrong turn. Where does it put me? Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? My 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 thing was flashing. Okay. But he can only limp an eye earshot. And now she can't get pregnant. Ah! Alright, I didn't mash fast enough, I guess. I remember when this game terrified me. Did it? I guess I didn't mash hard enough. Either that or I'm mashing the wrong button. That's also a very strong possibility. Uh, Alright. Maybe I'm not hitting the right button. I need to look up the, I need to look up the fucking the controls. Uh pamphlet? No. Oh wait, hit. The main character is determined by the number of times Harris is spoken to in the corridor during the prologue. If he is spoken to two or more times, then Jennifer becomes the main character. How many times did I speak to him? Probably one. But that's not the that that's not the hint I was looking for. Alright. Clock tower controls. Uh not that one. Okay. Instruction, blah, blah. Slight mishap. What? No. What is clock time? Please, just give me... Give me the fucking... Uh, graphics sound. Okay. Game terminology, whatever. Display screen... Controls, okay. X button. Okay, so square is the panic button. Okay. All right, so that 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 is the uh, that is the problem. I was mashing X. Uh, hey, check it out. Fucking god. Fucking god. I kicked him in the goddamn nuts. X did not, in fact, give it to me. Alright, I'm 
going to go downstairs. All the way downstairs. Exit. Really? Leave the fucking... Oh my god, I'm so upset about this. Like, what is the goal here? Sincerely. Okay, alright. Uh... It won't open? Doorknob is wired tightly shut. Hey. <laughs> All right, well, that's cool. There are many parts for computers. Uh, This looks like a storage area, doesn't it? You would think, maybe. This door should lead, oh, this is a parking lot, okay. Door knob is wired shut. Oh, that's right. This door isn't supposed to be used. But I wonder if I could do something to the wire. All right, so that, that at least gives me something. Very stupid, yeah. Maybe there will be stuff in here. There's nothing inside except scrap paper. Cool, okay, okay. Everything seems normal, all right. It seems empty, all right. All right. <laughs> At least we got away from Skizzer, dude, right? So now we need to find some kind of wire cutters, which I would assume would be in storage. Research lab. Okay. That's really stupid, then. <laughs> There's no way to open this door. All right. Need to find the storage room. It's just a shame that all these doors look the fucking same. If I was the murderer, my plan would be a lot more different than chasing a woman. <laughs> hmm. I just came from a conversation about Anastasia, the movie. Oh, nice. Hey, Pena, what's up? My first thought was Anastasia, the uh, the character from Rumble Roses. Okay. All right, let's check the second floor then. Released in 97. This game was released in 97 in America. 96 in Japan. So it's the same year. Hard to believe, right? Alright, at least this is a new fucking room. Alright. What? Yep. There's no sign of anyone inside. Alright. Games evolved a lot, yeah. A magazine rack. There are many academic journals. A 
flower pot. Oh no, come on. Well, at least she automatically went out the door, but this is just annoying. Pina may misses you. Nice ribbon cutters. Clock tower where you must gain power within the hour. Or like a sun deprived flower wilt before the next day's found water. What's up, Dread? How you doing? You good? This room. Yeah, there's nothing in here. <laughs> so Scissor Man is really just an annoyance, man. I think there was another floor that the elevator couldn't get to. Is this the third floor? Mr. Fine. <laughs> Thanks, Dread. It's locked. Uh, maybe this? Doesn't bode well. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Did it, 21 minutes. Ah, oh, based. Glad that made you laugh, lest it be a gaff. So, he's kind of super here a lot. And I'm getting annoyed. Because when he's here, I can't, like, do the puzzles. Dread always got them fine rhymes. If I can't do the puzzles... Uh, I feel like at least this, this is a newer room. Oh, I know this room. It's locked. God damn it. The fuck is that? What do I got? Oh, it's like some kind of pepper spray. <laughs> He's like, all right, see you later. the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. There are many files in case I'm in a little... Okay. That's not what I'm concerned with. God damn it. He just fucking leaves. <laughs> He's like, wait until I fucking wash my face. I 
feel like that one place that we were just at, where he showed up, is where we need to be. Because that's why he was there. You know? Back in here. Nothing that might be useful. Excellent. The fax machine rings. Okay. Where's it at? Okay. Good night. <laughs> There are several stuffed animals inside. I wonder why these are here at the university. How about this one? Dress shirts, neckties, and umbrellas. The owner is well prepared. A flashlight. Oh, yay. Something I could actually fucking use. Excellent. All right. For a minute, I thought she just had a gat. I know. I thought that was a gun. Oh, maybe, maybe this is a, maybe this is it. No. Uh. Facts. Get ready. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> huh? Stuffed animals are nice. All right, I guess there's nothing else in here. Dude sending facts from the room over. Whoa, 3D, what's up, Aiko? Yeah, we doing uh we doing clock clock tower. Admiring the scissor man's nice clock. There's some more rooms. That's a big clock. Yeah, that's quite the clock. Oh, we just came from here. Uh -huh. Wait, no, we didn't. What the fuck? Mm. Use that again, I guess. Uh. <laughs> so that Discord server you linked me to is the same one I posted the videos on the video tab when I tagged you. I can't use that again. Zero. Yeah, zero hour is the one. Hold on. You tag me? Hold on, where? Let me see. Videos. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I see you in here. But it doesn't look like you tagged me. Yeah, you never tagged me in any of these videos. <laughs> a 
like all of our servers have a video tag yeah it was from a different server it was from uh i think it was from skies i think it was from skies might have also been from kaiju's like they, their video channels are a lot more uh a lot more active than mine like yeah i was able to go through the entire history of the uh of zero hours uh videos just now in the span of 10 seconds as long as it's the right one <laughs> soul isn't a part of yours all right i don't know man it's possible that i am an absolute idiot but you can yeah definitely uh join sky's server sky is a good man uh he is also a family man not yet but i have faith that one day he will be what's up kore welcome to the stream At this point, we're like a VTuber group without saying we are. Yeah, that's how I kind of look at it. The door won't open. Is it locked? <sighs> I am absolutely finished with this bullshit. <laughs> Your faith is misplaced, Rida, but I appreciate it. So, is this the room with the uh, with the potted plant? No, it's a computer room. Okay. There's gotta be like something I can do, right? Like, feels like I was exiled sometimes. <laughs> Good enough, I wonder. <laughs> she just curb stomped him. Yeah, I agree. What are these buttons? They don't seem to do anything. All right, we can only go to these three floors. I feel like I've checked all of the floors, like extensively. Very aggressive ping. Uh, in here. I've been here. Okay. Why didn't she just right? I mean, you know, she's she's a a dumb horror protagonist. I think that's that's basically just it like that's just one of these has got to be the storage room i'm begging you research lab all right there's no way to open this door. okay that is not storage what about this one it's open this is clearly a storage room, right? Like, wouldn't... Shouldn't you be able to... <laughs> Everything seems normal. Is that a bike? Hit him with a bike. All right, I need, like, a pair of wire cutters or something for this room.
The only one I went through was three, so all these games are a very different experience. Really? I thought you said uh, you uh, you were scared of this. Ooh, more lockers. Maybe. It's locked. Maybe this one? It's locked. Okay. All right. This one? Oh, fucking Christ. Come on. Leave me alone. I'm just getting annoyed. <laughs> I'm just super annoyed. How he walks is funny. He's vibing for sure. Scissor man is a part of it. I feel like, like they want me to explore, but whenever I got to run, like I end up fucking on a completely different floor. Like this is the exact opposite of the problem of the first game. The first game, he never showed up. And then in, in this game, it's like, I can't get fucking rid of him. I was already in here. Yeah, how, how you can kind of hear him in the distance is a nice touch. Really? He's literally just an annoyance. Oh, she went into the bathroom immediately. Okay. Last time we tried this, we died. But this seems to be the men's room. Surely a different thing will happen. His testicles to putty. My testicles are basically already putty. We got rid of them. I guess it worked this time. Her face is caught in the mirror. It is pale and drawn, a face she had never seen before. looking at those lockers on the first floor. Okay. So that's where I'm going. Spoopy games. Right, I like how you don't need to rest in order for uh, the panic gauge to go down. So that's a nice plus. He was in the second locker before. I wouldn't be surprised if he, if like there was something in the second locker. Staff lockers. Staff lockers. It's locked. Can this one be unlocked? It's locked. <laughs> Check the second one again, the one that he was in. Can't check it. All right. An emergency exit. It won't even budge. I wonder if there's another way out. Yeah. I also wonder. There's, I know, like, I'm looking for some wire cutters or something. But I'm also looking for, like, a storage door. This fucking... Oh, come on! Leave me alone! Yeah, the killer man does have some pretty large wire cutters. Like, everything's fucking locked in this room, in, in this place. Okay, 
I remember this. Oh, it's the fucking computer room again. That's right. This is just suffering. No, no, I don't want you to go there. She just, she just heads toward the nearest exit whenever you do that. I can't go in here, really? Not even a little bit? Open. <sighs> I'm just so agitated. Hello, it seems that I've arrived late. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, what in the Satan is that? <laughs> How you doing, sir? stupid this is so fucking stupid all right hold on hold on oh, not this one I don't think Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> nope, this is the first game. I'm looking at a guide. Well, I'm looking for a guide, rather. Because this... This is just fucking infuriating. If I can even find out where I'm at right now, fuck. Scissor Man appears at night. Intermissions refer to the adventure mode between scenarios? Oh. Interesting. So there are different scenarios? So I think, because I'm, I'm obviously Helen, right? <clears throat> uh, story, I don't care, okay. Flashlight, got that coming to get you. I saw that. Oh, okay. So there, there is, there are keys and doors. Cheating on games are just amazing. Scissor Man is everyone's friendly neighbor. This music is relaxing as shit, though. Yeah, yeah, true. 
I'm not, I, I don't want to follow it to the T or anything, but just kind of, really? Just kind of push me in the right direction. <laughs> He's so fucking easy to deal with. <laughs> How anybody could die to this guy is like beyond me, but I am a I am a, 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 a doobie a doobie head, so it is how it is. Alright, uh where is Is it upstairs? Downstairs? I can't remember. Upstairs. No, no 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 no. Yeah, he barged in through that door. He, he can truck it when he wants to. Gonna make the scissor man smooth down there like a Ken doll. Gonna turn him into a real man. Click. Just going to see someone with big clippers get kicked in the groin. What's up, Drew boy? Just like in an actual game. Like, how many more ways can I fucking get rid of this motherfucker? Like... Oh, no way. No way do you think that'll work. The door is right there. Oh my god, it worked. He's low to the ground! He's low to the ground! He should have seen you so fucking easily. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, never mind. Okay. Well, to be fair, if logic actually mattered in this game, I'd be fucked. It looks like it, I might not even be able to search for items when I'm in, like, hunting mode. Don't know why, but this reminds me of a different game I watched from a stream that was so old before 3D models were a thing. Really? Yeah, it won't even let me look at these things when he's here. Oh, no, I left the key of the office laying here. Nice. Well, at least I have it. All right. Harris desk. If logic mattered, she'd kick his nads, steal the scissors, and decapitate him. True. Harris was quite energetic in his investigation of Scissor Man. Finish him. Danny's desk. It's really messy. Any files? Case of Milton. Okay. So, like, literally, I can't search for anything if I'm getting chased by him. So I have to, like, I have to lose him. And it just makes it so, like, such a fucking pain. Professor Barton's desk. That's right, Professor Barton's phone should be able to call outside. The line is dead. All right. Man. Imagine how, like, fucked Scissor Man would be if, uh, if, like, cell phones were a thing. You're a desk, Harry. Alright, so I got a lab key. I remember there being a locked lab door. 
Pretty sure you could finish reading a whole document before you could catch up. Yeah. Except when he goes into full trucking mode, though. Like, that... You know, he, he does do that sometimes. Door won't open. Okay. Is this the one? No. Okay. So that's not the lab key. I mean, like, I'm not even an athletic guy, but I would break this kid's ankles. Like, and he would get crossed up all day. And then I would hit him with a good German suplex. Plus, like, you know, he likes doing a little snip-snip thing. This guy's a kid. He looks like a kid, don't he? <laughs> he likes to do that snip-snip thing. So you could easily just grab those scissors when he shuts them. And then what's he going to do? It'd be like a crocodile, right? Like, just hold the mouth shut. You can't do shit. It's also funny how he stabs her and doesn't cut her. Like, come on. Looks like a black blob. Fair. Professor Fierro's lab. Wait. Oh, I did get the lab key. I guess this that's one of those automatic usage ones. Just throw the little man? Absolutely. The men's lounge. Fire extinguisher. Watch, he's going to be back. Oh, I'm sure he's going to be back soon. I got the lab key. I just need to find which lab to use it on. There's stuff I can examine in here, too. But I'm not able to examine it when I'm being chased. It should have access to the internet. Try try using it, then, maybe? M maybe? A little bit? Maybe? No? Not even a little? A cheap desk. They've got budget problems here, too. Yeah, that's not what I care about right now. I wonder if there's something here that might be useful. Search how to survive a horror game. Right. There is nothing abnormal. Okay. There are some tools here. <gasps> Oh, I wonder if it's being repaired. Oh, what I get, what I get, what I get, what I get. Pliers. Okay, um I don't know if pliers will work for the wire. But maybe. Maybe in this game's logic, pliers equal wire cutter. How to survive a horror game. You just die, that's it. Either way, we got a tool. third floor I was on. Okay. Go to the rooftop. It's locked and can't be opened. Okay. Oh, that's right. What? This door is kept locked ever since someone committed. <laughs> by jumping off. Jesus. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's a little, um, it's dark. Fucking drop that shit on me. Well, that's a letdown. Literally. Wait, huh? Oh. Doo -doo -doo. 
Got a snack? Ooh, buddy. Is this the one? Well, I opened it. I don't know if... Oh, I've been here a bunch of times. All right, excellent. <laughs> Hi, loser. Carrots. Hey, carrots are good, man. I like dipping carrots in ranch, personally. No other... No way to open the door. Okay, so not that door, then. That door is just there for flavor. Are you secretly a rabbit? A research lab? Okay. There's no way to open this. Well, what, which lab can I open, then? Because I have a lab key. There's so many labs that I've fucking passed. Walmart baby carrots? Fuck yeah, man. Um, let's, let's see if I can use the pliers on this. Mm. It worked. Excellent. Sweet. Sweet. Snakes in one of those. Wait a minute. It's locked. I'm upset about that. Hey, <laughs> I had the key the whole time. Oh, I had the key though. Ugh. There's the use for the key finally. <laughs> Fucking based. How many scenarios are in this game? I'm gonna look ahead. Let's see. Uh, what in the fuck? We haven't solved the last case yet. Now another. Hold that thought. Um. Okay. Three scenarios. Okay, that's not that's not bad. I can handle that. I can handle that. I can handle three scenarios. Just from having it free to being locked to unlocking it. <sighs> we haven't solved the last case yet. Now another mass murder. Ass. Oh, well. And you're saying the murder is Skizzer Man? But it's true. I saw him blah, blah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer. Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go on home now, Teach. Hmm. Oh, but don't go anywhere too far for a while. Because I'll probably have to call you in again. Soon. I'm counting on the carrot comment to be sexualized to no end. Which one? Only a man eats the big carrots like me. Okay. I know gods. <laughs> I didn't even think about it like that, Pina, and I just came off a sex joke. But I'm missing a lot. <laughs> I do actually like the big carrots, so I'm not lying about that. Hey, size queen. It's fine. Helen. It's all right, Jennifer. Let's keep looking for more clues about skizzers. If you don't do something ourselves, they'll probably kill us. No need for sarcasm, Teach. I really do want to believe your story, you know. Was it the real Scissor Man? Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. Well, shall we go? Somehow I must find a clue about Scissor Man. Uh, maybe... Police station. 
library. Maybe going back there. The investigation of the scene seems to be over. You will never know the joy of marinara sauce. I will at most tolerate marinara. Where the hell are the guns when you need them? Well, I mean, this is in the UK. Oh, this lady looks awful. Helen, are you all right? No, I also have some left. Yes, but more importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in, get in all morning because of the investigation. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? Right. I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. It's not here? No, and Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Darn, I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue about Scissor Man. Did he tell you where he was taking it? I think he said he would either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. If he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who is Rick? I don't know. All right, I'll go over to the library. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. Mm. Ugh. The Metropolitan Library. I wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. Municipal Library. What's up? Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking pre. Oh, yes, I will ask Gots about Rick. I love like I love that they told me where to go and then where to go was incorrect. Got any info, Teach? Do you know a man named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. Oh yeah, he's the old geezer that used to be the butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family of the clock tower case? That would mean he Well, he quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? The statue just might be the key to the secret of Scissor Man. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. I see. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get your hands on it, too. Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. <sighs> All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue, right? Nothing to it. Yes, but... Ask God? Yes, no. Yes. Please, please do something. Would you? Sure, I'll go now. Please be careful. Pre what? Ask the GF from the back. You'll soon find out right or later. <laughs> Scenario 2, Stan Gotts. A 
playing someone different now? What the fuck? I see. Is that how it was? If you know something, Gramps, tell me. I'm looking for a clue. Any clue. Mr. Goss, do you know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? Barrow's Castle. Before the Barrow's family moved. Yes, that is what I have heard over 80 years. 80 years? God damn. So what's up with the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. Yes, base game. What's up? Haha, <laughs> never mind. Welcome to the stream. I always thought it was a fairy tale. <laughs> he was killed by his father. Can't believe I had to use my PS1 controller to move around an MS DOS mouse. <laughs> His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. <laughs> Six years ago, I was a witness to the beauty and the beast. So the old man killed his own son? Listen, Gramps, do you know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is. The local children? Sounds like this monster needs to be arrested. What's wrong, Victor? <gasps> be quiet. Be quiet. It's okay, boy. What's the matter? What makes such a racket? Voice acting. Excuse me? Huh? Can just blast him with the gat. Oh, oh no. You feel it sounds like Filthy Frank's old man voice. You do not fucking throw the gun to the ground. I'm sorry, man. Even if it doesn't work. Yeah, the dog just fucking Like for what? I'm so fucking confused. What are the odds? <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, whatever. Let's eat my own, even though we made a strong friendship over the years. <laughs> Like, I, I thought Scissor Man was gonna pop out and kill him, but no, like, the dog killing him is fucked up. Like, for what purpose? There's a cooking utensil inside. This can't be used as a weapon. Well, he can't be in the trap door. That's too obvious. Right, yeah, yeah. This game is confusing. Yeah. A sink. It is clean and in order. I wish my old lady could see this. <laughs> That's what he's thinking about. In a situation like this, he's like, oh. Excuse me? Was that supposed to be a jump scare? Because that, it couldn't have been anything else. The dog just ripped his pixelized face off. Tablecloth's coloring the table. Okay. Something is written. You have discovered hit number eight. All right, cool. At least he had a good life. Did your dude just come? It looked like he did. Rick's signature is at the bottom of the painting. That old geezer was pretty good. Scoopy Scoopy. Nothing seems strange. Yeah, I bet. Can I save? Yes. Uh, 
Oh, Helen. What could I do? All right. <laughs> I'm going to end it here. Because fucking we're going to. We got two scenarios left. This one and then the third one. And then one more intermission. So we could we could probably finish this uh, on Wednesday stream. That sounds good to me. Um, let's see. Whoop, whoop. Uh, also, I need to eat because uh, as soon as I got home, I was doing other stuff. So I have not been able to eat. So I'm going to fucking eat and then go to bed right away. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fantastic. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming by. Fucking appreciate all you guys. Fucking who do, who do we got? Pina, Rosa, Dread, Doom, Sky. Uh, Pina, Rosa, Doom, Pina, Doom. Aiko, Dio, Xerox, Kaiju, and all the lurkers. Thank you guys for stopping by. Appreciate you all. I feel like I don't say that enough, but I fucking love all you guys. Thank you for sitting here and watching me fucking be an idiot and be bad at old bad games. <laughs> but till I see you guys next time, motherfucking uh bye to